I was good, bro. Um, I worked this week. <clears throat> All right, I have this like funny ass story from my job. I never really talk about work. <laughs> I never really talk about work. Yo, what happened, bro? Let's go. Uh, so Monday night, I'm gonna just set the scene. No, it's not that big deal. Monday picture. night, Monday night, I'm working, and uh. I had forgot. I, I, this couple kid was like the last couple in there. We did last call. They were smooth, so we're like like letting them leave slow and shit. I bartend, by the way. I don't know, but um, so <laughs> they come up to me and they're like, "Can we get like a two for one shot special?" And I was like, "Nah, this is like my job, That's bro." That's special y'all get. No, we don't have oh, specials. So he just asked for a <laughs> oh, Just asked. I just wanted a can, I shot. A can I pay for one and get two? <laughs> I was like, "This That's is a bold thing." Yeah, has. At, at a at a corporate. Worldwide company. I'm People not. Are brazen. Yeah, I'm That's like, crazy. nah. Can I get this for free? That's pretty much what you said. Yeah. You pretty much went to the store. You was at the store and like, can I get this shirt for free? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, nah. And I was like, I can like split one for y'all or whatever. Just trying to like make you know it seem like saying. that, you know. And what I was gonna do was split the shot, <laughs> but like make the shot a little, you know, nicer for them. You know right? what I'm saying? Because they were like, it was a black couple. They were fresh and yeah. shit. We're laughing and joking and shit, and they were smooth, you know. Yeah. So it's a shot of tequila or whatever, and I'm like, uh, do y'all want a shot? Do y'all want a line with this? Mind you, this is the last call, so I'm ready, really ready for them to go, but I'm being nice. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm like, do y'all want a line with this? And they're like, actually, we prefer orange slice. And I was like. Uh, orange. So oh. I was like, all right. I was like, you know what? I fuck with y'all. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. I'm gonna cut you in orange. You know, I mean, cut y'all orange That's slice. That's crazy. Or whatever. For real. So I tweaked. This is part of the part. Of this is my fault. I left the bottle on the bar, like you know, on the railing or whatever. Uh-huh. And I'm I'm walking back to the kitchen immediately. I'm like, what did I just do? I turn right back around, and Shorty is pouring. <sighs> Mad liquor oh, into her cup, my bro. God. That shit is crazy. And I lost it, bro. I was like, Damn. I was like, wow. I yeah. turned that corner. I was like, wow. Damn. How fucking bogus is that? Yeah. I was like, are y'all fucking for real? I could lose my job over this shit. This yeah, is. I was like, yo. Fuck? I was like, yo. They see this shit on camera. It's a wrap for me, bro. Damn. What? Hopefully, that hopefully, no one that I work with listens to this episode. By the way, but. Oh so I'm going God. crazy. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? I'm, y'all, I, y'all, I was being nice to y'all. We were cool. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I take care of people with this job, bro. Oh, yeah. like, this is my livelihood. I'm gonna lose it to some to some bogus shit like this. I was like, y'all need to slide right the fuck now. Oh my yeah. God. And they were like, well, can we pay for the shots? Can we sell you? I'm like, hell no. no I don't want no kind of money. Off. Just yeah, leave, bro. Yeah, at this point. So we're going back and forth. They don't want to leave. They want the shots that bad. And I'm like, fuck no, get yeah, out. Yeah. And then Shorty has the nerve to be like, you need to lower your voice because it can get like that. What? what? <laughs> it's like you want to run the fade with me because you got caught. Yeah, because <laughs> you crazy. thought, and then I thought, and then I saw, and you look like Boo Boo the Fool. Like that's crazy as fuck. I get it's embarrassing, but yeah, exactly. But They're they. <laughs> I would leave. I would cover my face and leave, yeah, and you never go your, back. You had to cover your face. You were that's caught red-handed. That's the honorable thing to do. That's the thing. It really got no honor. Damn. Tail Damn. tucked between their legs. Like, yeah. Yeah. If I get caught doing something bogus like that, I'm just. Just gonna be honorable. Take it on the chin. Yeah, you gotta take. The, I hate that. I'm sorry. I hope dude. that. I hope it haunts them all week. Yeah, that they feel bad. Yeah. yeah. See, I hate when that happens to good people, dude. For yeah. real. Because especially when you feel like there's like a vibe and yeah. stuff like that. It's just like you took that one opportunity just to and like what you're not thinking about anybody but yourself in that moment. And it's just like, damn. Again, just like you said, like this is like my job. Like you really just. Like, that could look so ugly for me, and you weren't even thinking about that. Y'all just want free liquor? Like, what the <laughs> like, fuck, dude? What is it's this? never not, that serious. This is not a wedding. This is not an open yeah, bar. what the Niggas fuck? Alcoholics. <laughs> you got to be an alcoholic to Aca- try to steal. Aca- Aca- you got to be an alcoholic to try to steal alcohol. <laughs> 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 if you steal alcohol, you have You know, I'm just going to let it stay right there because you're not wrong. So those people need to look at themselves in the you mirror. You are addicted and to we'll, drinking. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just leave that because you're not wrong. Ew. You have to be an alcoholic to steal alcohol. That's if you're so stealing cool. alcohol, mm, yeah. we're not here to judge. But <laughs> alas, no, I hate I'm that. Dude. If you steal alcohol, I'm you listen judging. to this podcast. Stop listening to this podcast. Yeah, because yeah, it's not that. I'm this judging. is we want better for you. See, that's the thing. I'm gonna start judging more. For you. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like somebody who needs to be judged, bro. Yeah. You're stealing alcohol. If you're stealing booze. You need to be. If judged, you're getting popped bro. at like. Foremost, yeah. bro. I'm judging you, dog. I'm judging you. Like I could see stealing for food. Yeah, yeah. I could even see stealing for clothes. I could see. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. But still is, but still is. Stealing Ciroc from stealing Bronx alcohol, Formal. stealing alcohol at a bar also yeah. is very that across the way shit is very yeah that's extra sketchy like eighteen and, year old like I have a fake ID like you know what I say and, and the crazy thing is she filled it up so it's like she wasn't gonna drink that so even if I didn't come out I could have <laughs> I could have cut the oranges came out and she would still have that much left I had to get a yeah. funnel and pour it back into the bottles oh that my much gosh, liquor damn dude, that's insane I hate that dude. Oh, that's crazy that sucks dude well I'm glad that you caught them your spidey sense was tingling yeah. ha ha <laughs> caught red handed yeah for real I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids <laughs> <laughs> a little scooby doo humor if we're aging ourselves right now sorry okay <laughs> but yeah my bad B how was your week no it's all good I have, no, I have nothing to even top we out. got hella shit to talk about <laughs> Oh uh, what Sunday Sunday we went oh yeah I mean well then, for the like the week I don't know how to run it all because we could have talked about whatever but as far as my week my regular week yeah. whatever oh, it was yeah, regular yeah. as fuck like I don't know but we did do a lot of stuff we'll, that we'll get into whatever on Monday we went to that fucking well we started on Saturday because that's when we went to the wait did did the we, interview did we oh that well, was, that's sure. crazy yeah yeah should be coming out soon yo. what is it what uh the no session ses- yeah the sessions inter- our boy zo um uh, he runs his podcast out here in chicago um called the session we were guests on it really excited for the videos and the clips and uh and the episode to come out it was great yeah yes yo. what a cool dude this it was so much cool fun. ass dude it's like one of my newest friends in chicago um yeah, he just he runs a great podcast and he does numbers. Yeah, and go listen to it. Yeah, dude. it's called the session. We'll put it in the. He had a uh, he had Dre the Shoe God on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I love Dre the Shoe God. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I, when I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, you got it. Uh, but yeah, he had. Uh, I was going back looking at his episodes. Uh, then he have. Uh, yeah, Joey Perp on there. You damn. Then he had. Uh, Brianna off Bernie Mac. Oh, baby girl. Yeah, that's baby crazy. girl on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very cool. But I love that. We got a chance to be interviewed. Yeah, it was nice to be interviewed. On the other side. I know, yeah. for real. So for we talked what? about we talked about our origin stories and all that <laughs> shit. So. It was amazing. Can't wait for that episode. Yeah. And it's, I saw a lot of our friends uh commenting on the post that you shared, you know, kind yeah. of teasing the episode. And it's cool that I really just love how big little Chicago is because it's just yeah. like, damn, so many people obviously know and they're amped on that end. So, like, yeah, I hope you guys all check it out when it drops. Oh, yeah, yo. And shouts out to him. Shouts out to you, Zo, for real, because it, the hospitality, like, yeah, three was pizzas, top tier, <laughs> beer, yeah. beverages. I never felt so. It was giving green room, <laughs> dog. I felt like a fucking celebrity, that motherfucker. All the water I wanted was just like right there beer, water, pizza. I'm yeah. like, damn, weed, shit. <laughs> We got ashtrays. It was lit. Yeah, he's gifted us his ashtrays and we have him sign them. Great dude, yeah. man. Right here. Shout out to you, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're using already, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, and then on Monday, was it Monday when we went to Logan's show? Yeah. Yeah. Our, our boy A. Maddie Logan just dropped an album. Yeah. Yeah, we went uh, and we went to his show. What's it called? Paradox? Yes, it is. Hell yeah. Go check Had it out. Had to go support the homie at Shuba's. It was lit. And it's, you know. Yeah, it was actually thick talking. as hell in there. It was. Oh, yeah. It was actually yeah. thick as hell in there. Yeah, a lot of people coming out to support him. We saw all kinds of folks in there. So yeah. it's, he brought the people together uh, in the city for that. Sorry, Logan. People were. I was at work. People were stealing alcohol from me at the time. <laughs> at the time. While you, while, right when you were performing. Right, probably right when you went on. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. He he, uh, he played the first couple of songs acoustic. I was like, I fuck with him for that, yo. Yeah. That's his balls. I, peaked, I saw the, courage, the video you posted. Yeah, he, like he said, he just started learning how to yeah. play guitar and shit. To go out there by himself, acoustic for all them people. To yeah, start, like to start yeah. is so crazy. Like you didn't even, wa- you know, and maybe whatever he probably did whatever warm up he needed to do. But like to start a crowd with you doing acoustic yeah, and I was just hard. knowing him just like entering into this oh, guitar yeah, he world. told the crowd like y'all gotta start talking for real yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he took a moment too cause you know everyone's like gassed and stuff ready to see him and stuff and yeah. they were just like you know too much talking and he just like you know that also takes courage to like yeah. stop them yeah, he's like gotta, wait yeah, y'all the way I need this set up yeah. y'all gotta hear me no, he was no, like no, y'all no. came out here to listen to music 
<laughs> so I'm gonna need y'all to be quiet. I'm like, good, good. Yeah, yeah. I like that energy. Hell yeah, I like that energy. <laughs> so shout real. out to you. Dude. <laughs> uh, the show was great. Um, yeah, great time. I got the merch. It was sick. Yeah, I like how this shirt fit. You know, my chains sit on the outside. Hell yeah. So, uh, <laughs> already <laughs> fucking with it, big dog. <laughs> big chain talk. You <laughs> y'all fucking feel me? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Hell yeah, man. And then did we talk about? The uh, what else did we do? We went to the uh, dark matter party. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Yo, <laughs> Perry was DJing for Roy Kinsey. Oh was really? DJ. I was literally just pressing next. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Perry was playing the part. If y'all saw the footage, y'all know Perry was playing the part. You wouldn't know. I was twisting but... the volume down to fade. <laughs> he was like Bobby with the music and stuff, and like throwing his hand up. I was like, you were doing the, you were Got DJing. To... I, like, I should have asked for a mic for real. Yeah. <laughs> you would have went crazy they on that mic. Like, yeah, they were like, y'all need two mics? And then I was like, no. Nah. And I was like, damn, I should have got a mic. <laughs> Tweet for real. Yeah. But yeah, it was fun. G. Yeah, Dark Matter had a had they party, they yearly party. It's like a birthday, right? The yeah. company like anniversary or some Hell shit. Oh yeah. Yo, are they out in New York? I saw that too. I was like, Yo, I don't what know. What the fuck was it? <laughs> they had a big ass like uh projector light that said like Maybe they just had some shit. You know, I mean, maybe like, they just had that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but shout um, out to Dark Matter. Um, oh yeah, we love coffee here and love Dark Matter. They always throw a good party. It's always, always a fun show. Time. Always Fools. no bullshit. Just a lot of fun. Free, <laughs> free weed. Free yeah. weed. Yeah, yeah. There's weed always a shit. perk. I got a tattoo at the last party. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Free yeah. tattoos and they're good tattoos. Yeah. Y'all can vouch for your line work. That's yeah. sick. What? Yeah, 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 I didn't know dude. about that. Well, For free, dog. He wasn't even trying to yeah, take my money. I was I trying to tip one. him. Yeah. I was like, if you don't want money for the tattoo, I have to give you money for sitting down yeah. and not fucking up any lines. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I got this one. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. it. But what a great time. <laughs> we Love come in peace. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Oh, yeah. Take me to your dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. If I had a car, I would have all of those stupid yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking oh, dead, shit. man. So what y'all want to start talking about music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rolling up the sleeves, rolling up the yeah. sleeves. Does Eminem still have it? Oh, <laughs> <my>. <laughs> The slow shady still have it, Joe. Here we go. Do you have a lighter? Can I smoke this weed? I'm just going to let y'all go at it because, listen. Y'all know how I feel. Yeah, pause. (laughs) Y'all know how I feel about Eminem, so... I'm just going to let y'all get this out freely without me interjecting with all my well, well, and human nature and all of my feelings and empathy for people. No, and stuff. please. So, no, you guys got to go, though, because you guys will do it perfectly. I will just shut it down because of emotions <laughs> and offending <laughs> folks. But please proceed. No, I need to go. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I'm tired of you old niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> Old niggas meeting what age? Niggas in they niggas 30, 30 and up for real. So us. I'm tired <laughs> of you old niggas. Y'all need to start putting more respect on Eminem name oh, when we talking about God. this rap Here shit. We for go. Real. For real. His new album came out and I got reminded for real. <laughs> All right. So but look, I've only gotten ahead. through uh, I wanna say I'm to be fair, we are, I've only gotten to track ten so far. Damn, you listen to one through ten? Yeah. Okay. What's the <laughs> album called? The death of Slim Shady. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the concept of the album is like uh, Slim Shady is like his alter ego coming back to like haunt him on some like on some like Buddy Love type shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure. And like trying to like take him over type shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nutty professor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take me a second. <laughs> on some Buddy Love type yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with it for real. <laughs> You're mad. I like, thought look. you were gonna bring it full circle and say that one song that he did with Dr. Dre in him. Well, guilty conscience. Yeah. Well, is that the one where they were? It was them. Yeah, back, yeah, 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 back yeah. To back. That was the first one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but like that's the concept of the album. He got all his little skits and shit on there. Yeah. About <laughs> and uh, I'm rocking with it for real, man. And like, granted, look. I have always had my stance on Eminem, even when he put out bad albums. Cause like, yeah, any everything to me, everything at the 
Everything Eminem show. Eminem show, he could have kept. Yeah, he could have kept Encore. I ain't going to hold you. He could have uh, kept. There, wait, it was Encore some songs on Toy Soldiers on it, and er, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong No, nah, they had Toy Soldiers. I feel like it did. There were definitely moments. That's when he had the Triumph the Dog song, and I was almost <laughs> over it. That's when I was like, oh, wait, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, bro, it it's not even, it's not, okay, so it's not like his skill Shine never really, like, comic dog. This, is, this <laughs> is the thing. His skill never depreciated. Yeah. He, he continued. And to that's be, why. He continued to be skilled. He continued to, you know, and that's what, get better within who he was. And but that's the why. Problem, but check it out. This is the thing: is that he became a relic of a of a different time period where most of the expressive art at the time, for a lack of a better term, was like angry at your dad shit, and it was like you know just really upset, like internal battle shit, and like. Music kind of shifted in another direction, but like Eminem did it, and I fucking honor that. I think that, like, my thing is, like, as an artist, I don't want to tell Eminem, like, oh, like, you're too old, you should hang it up. But, like, I've said in the past, it feels like every release at this point feels like a risk against the legacy because, like, Slim That's Shady I mean. and Marshall Mathers LP are undebatably, you know. Probably top ten. Hip-hop Listen to me. Albums of Listen all to me. Yeah, ten out of ten. But that's Both what I'm. But that's what I'm saying for real. If that's why, like y'all, the young niggas, y'all cannot like Eminem. Y'all don't know no better for real. And he, y'all are ignorant. And everything he put out in their time period is fucking horrible. Exactly. Yeah, bro. Y'all are, so like you're like, literally like they literally ignorant to the facts. So like I don't blame you because you can't know. Yeah. It wasn't here. But you old niggas. I know what y'all was on on 99, 2000, 2001. That's facts, though. And, like, yeah. we not going to act like this man ain't changed all of our lives. For real. <laughs> I mean, I would I would say there are a few albums to date that could match just the sheer production value yeah. of the Marshall. That's what I was saying. Like, when I put on that beat, or that, that who know, I'm like, Bob like made this fucking, beat right now. Yeah. It's like every second of that album counts so much and it's like every fucking moment is perfect like yeah. from the mix to like what's happening like it's just Gee. A, a marvel of like scientific Gee, like like just said. just from like a mixing perspective I, yeah. was, scientific I was around you niggas when y'all was all on Eminem dick back in the day <laughs> I was I there that. I was there <laughs> We, I Bro, was, every people were dying their hair blonde. You know what I'm saying? I was there. I seen y'all at the mall at the hip and shit. I seen y'all yeah. there back in back in '99. I was definitely <laughs> so we not gonna let. Eminem. So we not. I'm not for the let <laughs> let. Okay, he came out with some bad albums, man. I fu- I kind of fucked with uh Kamikaze. I kind of fucked with Kamikaze. Remember, I was on here when we first started the podcast. I was defending the video. But Kurt was saying, he was like, I was like, y'all, no, nah, I can't let you do that. You from Detroit, nigga. You a hip hop nigga from, from Michigan. Like, well, it's like, people. I was like, you have, gotta put respect on Ill Day. I saw somebody talking but, about it. People have a hard time, like, compartmentalizing shit because they live so much, like, in the now because of, like, social media. Of, uh-huh. Like, who they. Like, it's hard for someone to say, like, oh, so and so is the best of all time because they're not, like, on top right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's hard when I'm if somebody's like, "Oh yeah, I think Rock Him's like the best to ever do it," because Rock Him isn't like winning big right yeah, now. Yeah, right now people can't wrap their mind around someone. Feeling yeah, that way. yeah, but I'm I'm one of those people that grew up on Eminem and was highly influenced by him and loved his music. For but sure. like when and I recognize that he has great albums. I know that yeah. I recognize he's one of the best of all times. It's of just all became time. a relic of another time. But, yeah, for sure. I recognize all that. But Eminem, I'm not checking for Eminem. We're not going to yeah. sit here and pretend like y'all are. You know what I'm saying? But it's, <laughs> this is my thing. It's y'all like, are not checking for Eminem, and he has uh, not made good music. Can, can we all agree on that? That's besides, besides, so this, what's the, this, 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 this is the best shit. This, this is, is the best shit he didn't put this out. Is, like, this is good. Yeah, this, this is, is like, the, my thing with it is like, you know, like when the first Fast and the Furious movie came out, <laughs> that's not, that wasn't that corny. But when you're on like the tenth, then you're like, this Ooh. shit is corny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, for sure. I mean, I get it. I get what you're saying, but like, 
This not just any man, for real. This man literally changed. No, I mean, I'm not saying that about this he album. Hip-hop. I'm saying, I'm so, saying why the public opinion towards Eminem changed because, uh, but like I say, because I the Eminem never changed. The public, what the public uh, wanted to digest and hear, changed. Oh yeah, yeah. Eminem okay. stayed the Kinda. same. Yeah, Eminem never changed, but the public didn't want to hear the "I'm angry at my dad and mom." I'm trying to. Kill my see, wife. See, that's shit the thing. Anymore. See, that's the thing. That's why I'm saying I'm not mad at the young niggas. The, you old niggas. I was with y'all watching Howard Stern. We from that era. Yeah, true. Man, cow. We yeah. from that era. I was with y'all niggas when grew up. <laughs> yeah, I just think What's, that that's people feel like Eminem became a caricature. Oh God! People, what the fuck? people feel like Eminem became a caricature of himself because the times changed and what people wanted to hear was different. But Eminem stayed in the same lane, yeah. so it was like, "What is this?" Bump and a bump and a bump. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? But, but that's, no. that's yeah. what happened. But like, but like I'm talking, but look, that's what I'm, I'm not saying it did happen. Like we don't look at Fifty Cent like that. <laughs> you know what no, I'm saying? Because he never became a caricature. And he never got himself. that he got, corny. He changed No, he his definitely language. his music. His music is trash. Have y'all listened to that song? What? I've, his first single off this record, Houdini. Oh yeah, but the album hard. It's called, <laughs> you gotta listen to the album. <laughs> so, so far, that, so yeah, far. I haven't, listened, yeah. I haven't listened to the record yet. It's, it's fine. Hold on, we gonna put it on. Yeah. <laughs> Go put it on. But it's literally the same shit that Eminem was doing twenty years. Yeah, ago. yeah. but look, like, but like I said, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that he ain't got Lamb out. But I'm just saying, Evan, can you give me a beer? like Absolutely. after after. Eminem's peak in music, he was still doing shit for hip hop. He was still doing shit for the gang. It's not like he wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we can respect him, but I can still be critical of Eminem. No, but but, 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 but like I said, you could be critical of his music, but I'm saying, like, it shouldn't be no fun. Y'all shouldn't be poking fun and don't be making these jokes and shit. You old niggas. Not you young niggas. Well, why not, though? (laughs) It's funny. It's funny. Just like you said, it's ironic. It's like, yes, it's funny. Yes, it's funny, but like. Oh, shit. They be doing it too much to him for what? I mean, you're just saying that, like... But you're doing it so hard right now because the album got you respect. One at a time. No, no, I'm just saying speak of him him with respect, for real. You a hip-hop nigga. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying don't make jokes and shit, but make jokes about, like, you would make a joke about a nigga you respect. Oh yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. Literally what I'm saying is put more respect on him in your name. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's fine to make the joke, but... Bliggity blee! Again, it's back to about compartmentalizing shit. Like, you got to be able to admit that someone's like one of the best to ever do it, but also simultaneously has trash albums. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. This like, is my. It's okay. This is that's what I'm saying for real. But he's only corny because he became such an extreme so, of himself. Yeah. You know so what that, I mean? like, yeah. Like the accents and shit. It's because it's yeah. Fast and the Furious 15. <laughs> exactly. It's corny. You so know this is saying? my like, take on because I hear what while I sat back yeah, and. Like, Listen to you guys and the way you guys are taking. I hear exactly what Jimmy's saying. Of course, people should put respect on him because uh, Marshmallow's LP. I get that, and everyone knows how they felt when they heard that shit. Like yeah. it's undeniable. I also hear what you say, Nate, because we know that we also know a bunch of trash albums and a lot of bad decision making, music wise especially. Yeah. And like now he just made this album, right? I'm looking at Jimmy's way. Like you'll never forget Marshall Mathers LP. However, when it's giving the 15th lap, mm-hmm. it's still something about it. It's just like it is good, but like how much do I run it back of, oh my gosh, yeah. even if it does kind of sound like back in the day, it's still it's like, it is the 15th lap. Like when does he get to put it down? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, cause it's some of it, I feel I like know. might be corny because he's like, he's been doing it first and he is, it's a prolific, whatever that he's gone through with mm-hmm. music. But it's like, how long does he get to like do that where we don't look at him like he's uh, old too? And look, we, can so, you just sit down and be like a legendary so, with what yeah. you've done but look, and not still be in the field? But, but look, <laughs> I feel like, I, mean? I feel like Eminem really love rap. You know what I'm saying? You to can him, still love it. Listen, but, but like, but to him, he, he just creating art. Think about if if in this fact, you know what I mean? If he is, he just created art because he loved to rap. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my shit ain't as good as you used to be, as good as you used to. I'm still doing it because it makes me happy for real. Yeah. But, like, I compare him to a nigga like 50 Cent. And, like, then I just thought about, we wouldn't even have 50 Cent if it wasn't but for... But you just but make jokes <laughs> because yeah. it's his 15 laps. But, but it's listen, easy to but, make jokes but when but it's, listen, like, an old man making just, his 15 laps. But laps. listen, what I'm saying is, is 
We need we need to respect our elders. <laughs> yeah. That's sure. what I'll say. We need to respect but our like, elders. Also, that's facts. But if someone else came out with an album that was exactly the same as the other, you wouldn't fuck with it. Right? I might, because that shit kinda, going hard. No, but it's kind of like also at a certain point, like not not to be like ageist or anything, but it's like when when they had Fifty Cent recreate the music video at the Super Bowl for Dr. Dre shit, where he was like upside down doing the fucking yeah, that was chin ups. It, bro, but your body shape has changed because you're older, so you look like a cylinder up but there. But I'm glad bro. it. So it's like, <laughs> it feels, oh, was you not happy when you saw feels, it? It feels like you're reaching, though. You know what I mean? At a certain then, point, when you it looks saw like it, you're trying you to happy. emulate. At a certain point, it looks like you're trying to but, emulate youth, and that's but when, what makes uh, it but, corny. When, but when you saw that's it, that's why it doesn't connect you, with the audience. But when you saw it, did it make you happy? Nah. Really. <laughs> no, because I felt like I you like. <laughs> Oh, Wait, Perry's in Look love with the nos- Perry's in love with the nostalgicness of it, so I'm it probably made him happy. Why the youth aren't connecting with but it, bro? I feel no, you. Okay. But like I said, when I started, I prefaced this whole thing. I don't care what the youth think. <laughs> they don't have to. You know, I started off. This is no, for the over listen, thirty. The this thing, is for the over thirty. Like, like, like Nate's boy said when we were uh, from the. New York, what's the magazine? Your homie, sorry. Oh, uh, Justified Arrogance. Oh, just, Justified Arrogance. Yeah, James K., yeah. The, Justified the Arrogance. art and the culture and the sounds and the classics all rely upon transmission. Yeah. And if they can't fucking connect with it, it dies. Thanks. Mm-hmm. And it no. doesn't get ingrained into the next round of yeah. shit. No, yeah. I feel you know what I mean? So it's like, but, but that's no, the- I'm not going to tell an artist who to be, but it's also like, when you're doing all this shit to like emulate who you used to be or like emulate youth, it just looks like you're an old man putting on fucking well, look, new clothes. Well, look, <laughs> well, look, well, look, I think about feel it. Weird. I don't think that. I don't think that. I feel like I stopped listening to Eminem when he started being on that. I'm not afraid. <laughs> when he, and I heard, I was just like, yeah, and I was just like, no. I was just like, absolutely not. But I feel like that's because he changed. And you he just was, said yeah, on look. Wax that he didn't change. No, I didn't. Jimmy said that. Look, I said, I said, he kind of changed. My and I feel like now he on a repeat. My stance with Eminem, my stance with Eminem has yeah. always been. What are you still mad about? That's why I don't listen to his. Because I'm crazy, now. nigga. But like, <laughs> how are you still mad in your, how, you know, how you are? So I don't believe his music is what I'm saying. Like his current music, I don't believe it because what the fuck? Are you he crazy. <laughs> uh, get the he fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> so again, as a, as a bystander to this whole debate, right? Because like I can't even really be like, oh, Eminem. It's like really, y'all know how I feel, and like I'm not even gonna bring it up. The way that I can only put it into like a metaphorical way for you, Perry, is just like, because I'm hearing what you guys are saying. It's really giving like, dude, like bad boys, right? We know the Beijing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And what Jimmy is saying, that emulating like Mike Lowry, you know what I'm saying? Like, Will is old. Like, they didn't even, he didn't even allow himself to have like salt and pepper in his beard. Like, <laughs> it, it, let it age with you. Yeah. But you just, you're trying to like, so 50 Cent, like, leaning, like, doing that thing, like, hanging down. It's just, like, you're not that age anymore. I understand why you like it because it brings you back to that nostalgic moment. But you're also still physically watching this older person <laughs> do something that they did when they were younger. And, like, I almost, like, the legacy is so strong. Like, you don't have to do that again, bro. Yeah. But, but, like, you don't. Like, it's yeah. weird to thing. see. But that's the but thing, as old though, heads, though, bro. It's like shit. putting Beijing on to have black but hair look. again when we know you. You have salt and pepper because we realize you're older. We when, love the legacy. Yeah. You shit, have to be look, older to have look, the legacy. Look, Eminem don't be need, older. We know Eminem don't need no more money. We know that. You all right? <laughs> he might. No, nah, <laughs> we know Eminem don't need I'm no definitely money. Definitely not saying that. No, because listen, because listen, because we know when he was dropping all when he was dropping all of those songs that we hate. Those are his biggest songs no, that he ever sure. did. That's, that I, is what I want to clear. You're right. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. You come out. Um. That is one thing I will say um, that these albums, these these terrible albums, do so well. <laughs> Y'all have no idea. Those, those horrible right. albums, all those all those jokes and shit. He's 
selling like he's still yeah. doing 250 first week you know what I'm yeah. he nobody he, knows about it he don't I, need no more money i feel like he just doing this shit because he love because look at what else he do everything else he do is for hip-hop for real shade 45 yeah i feel like Shady we're all records kinda, i feel like we we're all had no saying, griselda sorry, my bad my bad, my bad we, my bad, we bad. really uh, had no griselda like we got them if it wasn't for eminem that was the best thing he's done in a long time we yeah. went shade 45 radio <laughs> station bro yeah. serious xm wanna, bro uh, that's Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying the easy. So from an outsider, it's just like the easy way. Like it's not that deep for where you're like, oh, put over. Because it's easy just to make the jokes. We know yeah. all of this. It's like going back to what Jimmy said. The jokes are funny. Fifteen lap. And as an old head, I can look at that and be like, ha ha, bro. Like it doesn't matter. It, like it is it, it, whatever. But that's you guys what feel about like, how but that's real. Why, but that, but like, Bailey, that's why I prefaced. I prefaced the argument with. This is for you old niggas, not for you young niggas. I'm talking too. about us. <laughs> I'm talking about like, well, niggas like, that was there. I just want to clarify. I don't think that Eminem is corny. I don't think that Eminem is corny. I think I'm trying to explain why yeah, I, I think he's. <laughs> I want to explain. Might be, but slim shady ain't. I just want to explain Fine. why I think he's That's perceived true, that way by yeah. the younger generation. Yeah. I mean, because like even with I the albums that we're calling horrible, a lot of the reason that we call them horrible is because like we had shifted on to different waves too. Mm. You know PC, what I mean? And the songs PC, aren't good. Without PC, <laughs> the new generation, like the, the younger generations are not though. Like, did y'all? I don't think they would ever really fuck with that. Like, yeah. that shit is literally strictly. Yeah. A Nickelback doc yeah, already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nickelback documentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, it's a good they didn't ask for their their band to be corned out like hate. that. They didn't you ask know, for that's that. The most hated, like that's the most hated band ever. So if you want to know how to handle hate. What That's what do. I'm saying. I mean, it, it should be a it should be a certain care. level of respect put on Nickelback too. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Let's, we gotta, we let's gotta, go. That's why <laughs> we got to remember that Nickelback yeah. is a, a worldwide huge band. I had I had a friend. They I was talking to hits. yeah. Uh, I had a friend telling me about like he's a he, he manages like some of the, like like Jesus Peace and like Zulu and bands like that or whatever. So he like knows the music. Like knows music very well, <laughs> and he was like talking to me about Nickelback, and he's like, "Dude, they are a universally m- massive band. They have like that album with um, you remind me is like one of the tenth highest selling albums ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's on the same <laughs> list as Thriller and shit. See, that's crazy. That's what I'm you gotta respect, but, but that's respect yeah. on Nickelback. But man. at the same time, after you saw they struggle, you were like, put some more respect on Nickelback. <laughs> yeah, they had that like blow up thing happen to them too. For that's why you gotta put out a documentary so people know your struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just like up. people not even knowing their music at all. Oh, like they just I had a shit going. Fuck it. They had that. They oh, had that are. shit. Like we are. Oh. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. No, we good. I thought we weren't recording this. Oh, yeah, time. I was recording. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do it. We're recording up here, too. Yeah, all right, we're good. Yeah, man. Go. Oh, that, you just yeah. like just like a Nickelback doc- documentary, LOL. Like, people won't even, <laughs> even if you don't listen to Nickelback, the, the, the jokes that you have already in your arsenal. Like, it just <laughs> sucks because, like, they went through whatever, and they got their stardom and stuff. And I don't know what made them like the butt end of a joke. And that's why <laughs> that documentary was kind of sad because it just sucks. Cause like they are still musicians. They're yeah. talking about all the shit that we're talking about, like yeah. having the courage to like get up there and like do your songs and hoping that people fuck with them. They went through all of that and then they got their deals and they got the money and they yeah. sold out the stuff in some way, somehow <laughs> through the net, like the way society just took them, like they just became a joke band. It just sucks that that's what they yeah. poured their livelihood into and now they're just like a joke and they talked about all of that and I was just like oh like will you look at it like that yeah, like I didn't I'll listen say. to Nickelback what, like that crazy. that's what I'll say what's crazy is like the, <laughs> the the Nickelback sucks jokes are so lazy to me the Eminem yeah. sucks jokes are way funnier I feel that do you, yeah. do there's you more remember, more like, shit to you sometime sometime after Mac Miller died the internet randomly just one day was like, I wish they would have took Russ instead. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> damn. That's crazy. But like, when, you, like place. when you got that <laughs> much money, you should, <laughs> you should, you should really have really care for real. You yeah. got that much money for real. 
That nigga Russ got money for real. I hope he really do. I hope he not lying for real. <laughs> oh, you only know because he said it. <laughs> Is that mm-hmm. what we're going off of? Yeah, but yeah, uh, Jimmy. that's because ain't no respect no more. You know Man, what I'm get saying? Get the fuck out of here. Ain't no respect for your elders no more. That's why kids need to get their ass whooped. Uh-huh. Hey, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, segue of the year for real. That was actually so smooth because I was wondering. Because whatever, y'all. Oh you know, gosh. I would love to. When we got the board with our topics, I wanted to be like incognito about it. Like, oh yeah, they'll never know that we planned it out. But just know, you know, we try to have some kind of like decorum, some kind yeah. of flow to the shit. But yeah, Perry uh, leading in like that. We knew what we were going to talk about, but to get into it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what is it? What's the uh, verdict, y'all? Yeah, no, <laughs> because like, I am like sitting now, in a room full of men, now right? Because now that I have like nieces and shit, I be thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna have to whoop her ass one day. <laughs> what's the What's the verdict for you guys? What is your answer? I, I vote whoop kids. I vote you. don't. And what At do you all? vote, Jimmy? What? Wait, wait, wait! What? Here, everyone's wait. Here, everyone's I mean, wait. I, no, but the, I guess yes or the, no, the Jimmy. The most important distinction is. Between what is like yes or no though what's first, but I would say in general yes. But yeah, you don't want to actually get it. Kids. Depends on what that is. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. there's definitely a difference between like spanking a kid and like whooping a kid's ass. And I think that like for me, the whole defining line for any sort of like punishment that gets doled out to a kid is like. It has to be a communication form that goes somewhere. So mm-hmm. let's you know just call I mean? out yeah. the elephant in the room really quick before you guys say anything. Because I'm just looking at it from the outside, right? Yeah. Uh, just because you said whooping and spanking, right? Let's just call the elephant in the room, right? I understand everything that you could say afterwards, everybody. Um, because mm-hmm. whooping, whooping a kid, that sounds like public and that does sound black. Uh, spanking a kid, it does sound white and it sounds like it happens I mean, at home because you thing. fucked up. Like but thing. I'm just calling out yeah, what, yeah. what surface level, what it could look like when you're and talking whooping, about disciplining a child. To me, whooping is ambiguous enough to where that can but be. But white like people don't down. even say whooping. I feel just, like that's just like a culture <laughs> difference. For oh, we talking about the same uh, thing. I'm just trying to about be the same specific thing. because I know people that when they say whooping, it could be like with a belt, like not necessarily on your ass. Mm. Like get, yeah, I know multiple. kids. Like I know plenty of kids ah, that were like man. actually like what got their ass whooped yeah. by their parent. Pretty much like I'm talking about got like ass. put in a room and tossed. Mm. I'm not for putting a kid in a room and tossing them. No, in no, any no, situation. No, 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 no. Anything that could I'm be translated as violence as a punishment is not is a is a no go for me. Like for sure. Were you guys raised? In a whooping household, yeah. I definitely, I was definitely, yeah. Where, I definitely yeah. get but are you talking hand? Or are you talking oh. things? No, things. Like, I things. got belt. I definitely got belt. I for belt and cord. Like, yeah, yeah I things, definitely so. got things. I got shoe. I got or like yeah, Boots. I got like slipper. I got boot yeah, slipper, had, my nigga. That's I, had, <laughs> I, got, I got the shoes. boot. At the fuck, like wood. Type a wood, shit. yes, a wood spoon. That was Ooh. on some grandma shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, like oh, a yeah, comb. My grandma would be on I would like get comb. Like but my shit. dad would tear me up for real. Like yeah. he literally, like if it was gonna be with his hand, like I was really gonna feel that shit. Whether he would strike me with his hand, he was holding my wrist and really laid into my butt or my back. Like it wasn't yeah. all over the shoulder. Oh. It was like holding me up, like you know, you fucked See, up like, and like taking like. That or even pulling off his belt during, yeah, and that I think, seems excessive. But I remember, that's what I'm yeah, saying. I'm gonna say this. I think that every parent and every child is is different. In my experience with my kids, I've never had to whoop them in such a way that actually was like physically harming. Them. Right? Yeah, uh, you shouldn't have no it, whip. It's always, you shouldn't have no. But whip I also have brain. two girls Mm -hmm. and like i'm not trying to offend anyone and make any sort of distinction but they are very much so you know emotionally in tune and like it's the act of them having gotten spanked is so like it's more mental than anything Mm, yeah i mean no like it's like i'm not out here it's very hard to physically punish your daughter yeah in my experience but see and my Uh, dad raised two daughters just like you you, dude it's a last fucking resort though like i can honestly say they maybe get spanks like 
once or twice like a year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, they're also like twelve and right. eight now. Like I remember, eight, you know? I, so it's like, I remember being a little kid and like. I I got two younger cousins. We used to get whooped together all the time. Together, like, I, you know, together, <laughs> all get our ass yeah. like a little group. Hold hands, and like, hold hands. Hold on, and then and then like I remember like me me and my me and my first younger cousin. We only a year apart for real, but our other cousin, she two years, she three years younger than me. But uh, I remember me me and my the older one, we got whooped, and we was like, wait, it don't actually hurt. The, <laughs> And all the cousin was crying all on the ground, <laughs> acting a fool. I'm like, wait, it don't hurt. And after that day, I was like, I don't think I've been hurt by a whooping for real. <laughs> then they weren't even, so then yours was a spanking. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. But just I mean, even the I dynamics the of same. Jimmy. I definitely, I definitely was getting like. But the dynam- same dynamic that you're talking about, dude. Because I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you have two daughters. My dad, two daughters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he would like. Beat our ass into like submission. He didn't want us to be fast. He didn't want us to like do this. He wanted us to have like so he was like really getting our ass that way because he was always the disciplinary. And I hear what you're saying too, like being a man and trying to discipline your daughters. And that's why like and I'm not saying the way I was raised was right either. But it's just like, yeah, my dad, he didn't it wasn't even you like that. And you would think it would be like that. Like he would have like, like a soft spot, but I feel like he was hard on yeah, us because he just wanted to know, let us know. That he cared first or whatever, yeah. but it did come with like we only know how to parent violence with, with the tools <laughs> that we're given. Mm-hmm. You know, if mm-hmm. I can't set an example that wasn't set for me, like if if that's how they learn to parent, you know, I've had to right. develop my own style, but a lot of the things that I've developed is based off, like we develop things based off of what happened to us and what we don't want to happen to our kids, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's how we like tailor things and like my thing with any sort of like punishment or like really any conversation and like you know i'm blessed with having two like naturally kind of like intellectual kids and it's really about yeah they're like cool as hell mm-hmm. all the punishments like things that happen like it has to be a conversation that can go somewhere Mm-hmm. So it has to be like facilitative of the lesson. Yeah. Like if I beat your ass past the point of the of the lesson, it's, right? If there's any room for you to be defensive about what the punishment was, it's excessive. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. And so yeah. I think yeah. like, and and it's like you know, uh, candidly, a lot of it is because I have, they have, I have a toxic fucking co-parent. Both situation <laughs> and uh and there's a lot of like bad communication that happens like between them and the kids and uh like if if your kid makes a mistake you know mm-hmm. and as a parent you're gonna lose your cool and you're gonna go too far sometimes when you get mad you know it's impossible not to but if i yell at the kid and i'm like Let's say you went too far and you're like, why the fuck did you do that? Mm-hmm. Like, I told you not to have that juice <laughs> in this room. Mm-hmm. And now you spilled it on the carpet. Like, mm-hmm. come on. Yeah. And, you know, I shouldn't have swore. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have maybe got so animated in that situation. But if the same situation happens and I'm like, oh, you fucking idiot. Like, why yeah. did you do that? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. The conversation can't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You, now you it's to be just like, now... Now it's like this immovable object of like it was a teaching moment. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about it like that. It you was a right. teaching yeah. moment. That's very real. All of these moments where you're punishing your child are a moment of teaching. Mm-hmm. And are mm-hmm. you going to turn it into a lesson or like a fucking scar? Because mm-hmm. like the Ooh. The, Ooh. the fucking threshold is like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like that's valid, bro. You snap for real. That's actually so real. <laughs> wow, a lesson or a scar. Mm. God Seriously, damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, y'all hear heard it here first. Uh face value parenting one yeah. one. <laughs> we do what we can, yeah, we you just, know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, so I got this. Oh my god! Story for (laughs) y'all, bro. You're snapping with the stories. (laughs) Where's the popcorn? Had a funny little week. Oh my gosh! All right, so um, earlier this week, I I went to like this uh, local like smoke shop or whatever, like by my crib, uh, to pick up something. And um, I walk in at the same time as this couple, 
fucking want my mic. I walk in at the same time as this couple, and there, it's like, if y'all know where, like, I live in Wicker Park, it's really nice, like, quote unquote hipster area. So, like, there's this, like, couple that had to be up here for something, obviously. I heard them over talking about it. But anyway, they they walk into the smoke shop. And they're looking for backwoods, right? It's a hood-ass couple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In Wicker Park. Yeah. Hood uh, ass, you know what I'm saying? Hood ass couple in Wicker Park. They walk in, they like they ask, so it's a it's a white guy that looks like he listens to Eminem now still <laughs> behind <laughs> behind the counter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like the couple walks in, like, oh, y'all got backwoods. And he, and from the okay, when I walked in, he greeted me like, Hey, how's it going? Soon as this couple walks in and says, Do y'all have backwoods? He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. We got we got uh backwoods. Like you got the Russian creams. He's like, shit, nah. We don't got the Russian creams, but we got the banana. And oh, and, 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 and the, the smooth thing about the banana is when you hit that hole, you can really get the flavor and all that. Oh <laughs> my god! This was it was crazy. It was like I literally I literally had a shocked face <laughs> while I was waiting in line for this during this whole interaction, and it was a long ass interaction. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, that was crazy when they walk out. And I'm like, yeah, man, let me just get uh, Jewel Pots, my stupid ass vape. And like, um, I'm thinking he's going to switch back to his original self because I'm like in <laughs> short ass shorts and a Morbid Angel shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think he's going to switch back. He kept it up. Which one you want, man? You want the menthol joints? Oh. You want the five? 3.0, 5.0, all this shit. I'm like, man, just give me the fucking jewel pots. Let me get up out of here. Yeah, oh yeah. And yeah. just like, it made me think like the th- ick the, the the code switching shit is is funny to me. I get where it's like necessary for real. Like, you know, there's I I mean, maybe not to have such a double standard, but I, I feel like it's necessary more for us as black people to do it in like mm-hmm. certain like professional situations. Okay. Yes. I don't really think like, <coughs> I don't really think that like any other like people really need to, I mean, of course, <laughs> yeah. ma- maybe in other p- professional positions, but I don't, re- okay, let me just keep it a buck. I, I don't really feel like white dudes need to do it. Yes. Like no, I, this, these people are not going to think you're cooler. They're not going to think you're from the hood. They're not going to think you're quote unquote down yeah. if you do that. You don't got to do that because all it really comes, <laughs> all, it, all it really says is that you, you're kind of like making black people seem like a cartoon character for real. Okay. And th- it's another Talk thing. That shit, and it's another thing that I noticed, like, I don't, and I don't mean to like speak for anybody's like struggle or anything, but I noticed like women do this with gay men. Yes. You know, a lot. And I talked to, I I (laughs) talked, I talked to a, I talked to a really close friend of mine about this. So please don't think that I'm like, you know, talking about you. I see this all the time as a bartender, bro. Like sometimes people will like meet, will meet a group of people. Say it's a girl and she meets like a group of guys. You know, one of them is a gay dude says, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And then as soon as you get to the gay dude, hey, hunty, hey, sis. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? You, like, this person, like, this. not everybody is a RuPaul Drag Race contestant, bro. Like, not yeah, everybody is a caricature that of that shit. shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you might think you're being relatable, but you are probably hurting somebody yeah. by doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because when it happens to me, I re I really hate when people do that shit to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I did. Right. I did not think the topic was gonna take this turn. <laughs> it's, it's big oh, facts. For real. Is that bogus? I know, no, because look, no, 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 no. Because like, I get like when I saw it up there, I'm thinking like. Yeah, have black people be colors with your yeah. shit. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, now it's the then, other side and of then it. Like, yeah, it's the other side. <laughs> yeah, you fucked me up for real. <laughs> but look, I can see this, this is the thing, though. Like you said, in professional setting, I ain't mad at you. Get the money. Yeah. For real. <laughs> but just like he said, you. black people having to do that. I don't now. think that, I don't think that we, we got to do that to, to get the money. Yeah. I don't think that we you shouldn't should, have to. Like, you should Absolutely. not have to. It's now for real. That's why I, sh- I fuck with my nigga Kev. Shout out Kev. Go to pop out bathroom shit. Like, when I first got this job this design job i was we had it, it was over skype i mean over teams and shit like you know what i'm saying during the pandemic 
He said, I ain't taking my do rag. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, I was like, you know what? I ain't taking my shit off either. Yeah, dude. yeah, I know. That's fucking right. I'm keeping my shit on too. He yeah. empowered me, G. Because I yeah. get it for real, yo. Yeah. Like, I'm in the office. I'm, like, I'm one of the two niggas in the whole office. Bro. Yeah. Like, I get, get. Hold it down. Go ahead and get your bread, G. But then <laughs> I started thinking about it when you said about Buddy at the store. He also say type shit. <laughs> but, see, but see, this is okay. So, so just know off but of just like that code switching though. as like a surface level thing dude again like a, a, that Eminem thing like whatever and then it goes into if you're just talking about surface level not knowing anything or any better and maybe you're like such a hip not a hip hop head but like fake surface level hip hop head and you're just looking at him like he's a white rapper right how many people in an Eminem show, like who are going to an Eminem show, are the people that you're talking about right now? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So then, when black people or heads make fun of them, or make or make fun of Eminem, it's Jack making sweet, them think under it. yeah. they're making them think of that guy at the shop <laughs> because, like, you just want to be down so bad that you're just like whatever in you to try to talk or relate to me. Like try to get this money though. I, I, I but wait, it. so Eminem can but just code switch and talk to us like this? Maybe he's at home, really. Like, hello. Yeah, <laughs> and, and no, I, think, I doubt it. I, and I get it. Like, especially with that dude, he's trying to make people feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like in the, in it's his shop, you got to know discretion. Yeah, same but, thing with whooping your kids. You but turning it off like that, that to is almost it. too he, much. He just though. turned you it can't up. Turn so, it to a caricature. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. He turned it up super crazy, and that's exactly. what I'm saying. Like the fact that I was, it's a fun, I was, it's a I was, I was taken aback for real. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, where you like blinking? Like, yeah, I was like, I mean, look, I, just, ping, ping, Bailey, ping. Bailey, my face was like this straight up in the store, like. Right. Hey, look, what? maybe maybe he just he <laughs> fucked up and did it bad. Cause I'll be at that, I'll be at the job and I'll fuck up and do it bad all the time. <laughs> I do that shit all the like, time. Give me an real. example. What you mean? Like, oh no, like I'll be talking to somebody and like it'll be like somebody over me and shit. And I'll be they be like, Can you do that? I'm like, Yeah, I got you, I bet. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, I always say that all the time. I never, I turn it down for like speaking to my bosses, but other people yeah. at the job, even from other I, lines of business, I will be like, oh yeah, I'm tweaking. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And like to say that in an office setting is not, oh, I'm tweaking. Like, yeah. no, no, no. What if they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? Like, I think Bailey's on drugs. Yeah. Like, you know what I said? That's why I can't blame you for getting this money for real. Cause you got to do what you got to do to get this money. Bottom line. Like, but they I were going to buy something regardless. Yeah. No, no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like code switching and, and like, at work, oh, yeah, yeah. he was like, at work. No, but I'm just saying, like, like in an office setting, type black people type. I'm talking about for like, what I mean, I, I can't blame, I can't blame you if I see you at the office and when you see me, you be like, "What up, G?" And then like, well, but what about to clocking else. other yeah. races? Which no, is what but, I think Nate is talking. about I mean, about. that's what he's talking about. But I'm just saying, but I, was, I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to this money for real. Like, what you expect me to do? Like, but what about <laughs> other races code switching? Like, I know, but I'm just saying though, just because it's like. I, I get where it come from. That's all I'm saying. I get where that shit come. But from. what about for white people? Where is it coming from? Then it was loud. You're but I'm just it. saying. I'm just trying to look at it equally. as like how. Yeah, I'm yeah, asking. He was definitely, you. He, was definitely, saying, he was definitely trying to make them feel comfortable yeah, no, in like, his shot. And you know, I'm just like. But I'm just saying, it was just he so did it too much. Crazy. He fucked up and lounge it for real. And like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I have fucked up and lounge it for real. <laughs> <laughs> like I get what he did. Fair enough. Yeah, I did yeah. too much for Fair real. No, I feel you. I feel you. I code switched bad at work well, <laughs> all the time. Bro. I hope this guy doesn't code switch on me because I take that shit real bad. So <laughs> I was I'm trying it. to be a better person every day. I, I was astonished. I, I would have been astonished too. I gotta get to this like, money. I actually would have been like, like, bottom the look, because bottom line, I got to get to this money. Yeah. <laughs> and, and with that, with with all that, like especially with like what I was talking about before, um, with that, I'm not saying I'm not sitting here saying like I am like the world PC champion or anything like that. You know what I mean? I make a lot of mistakes, you know, but like, I'm just saying there's gotta be like levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? White people oh, talking in like Ebonics is always very stressful Look. for me. Okay. So like, that's what yeah, I'm I like start, reading as. I start like sweating. And yeah. Like, like, I'm just like, look, this makes so, me so uncomfortable. Cause, cause look, look, look. <laughs> Gee, look. Just call I'll be it what work. it is. I'll be at work. <laughs> Just fucking say it. Yeah, we're dancing around it. <laughs> I'll be at work. Why people talking Ebonics is weird. <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> like you no can matter tell how me. you cut it, bro. <laughs> Please know all the music that I love too. But like, you don't have to talk. The talk, like, <laughs> just walk the walk. <laughs> Let me show that one side, yeah. I'm high now. <laughs> the weed is weeding. Oh, gee, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be at, I'll be at work. Muggles be like, like the old niggas above me and shit. They be like, how did you do a podcast? Let me, and I'm like, oh, I want to break my code. <laughs> like if I tell them I'm gonna break my code. <laughs> Wait, what code? Wait. <laughs> My code switch. Oh. <laughs> they I'm like, yeah, I heard you do a podcast. Like, what's your podcast? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I also just feel like old heads, they know. They're like, this nigga don't talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to see you yeah. in real life, young blood, whenever yeah, you're ready. You got those braids and shit. And yeah. You can see right like through some, you. And like sometimes my braid, I be at work and I just slept wrong and I ain't put my do-rag on. <laughs> I be there where my hair be looking crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst all these funny people. <laughs> like, oh be, my oh. goodness. <laughs> and be like, have you heard of ODB? <laughs> For real. Do you listen to Coolio? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Listen, we all know it. All right, motherfuckers was thinking it. All right. <laughs> so, a topic I've been seeing on the internet that be like making me mad. It's when like uh, you seen it when like young niggas. I ain't like not to be against young niggas today. I fuck with the young niggas, but like <laughs> I just think it need to be a little more respect. I think young niggas be on Instagram and they be like gunning like our old fits, like heating us up in our old fits from the two thousand seven, two thousand six, uh, yeah, two thousand five yeah. shit. Yeah, even up, even if I would say two thousand ten. Uh huh. The twenty, they be heating our twenty ten fits for real, yo. Same no, I like the it. Was too long <laughs> because niggas. Because you remember we had that era. Niggas was wearing button ups, and they remember niggas used to wear the, the suit vest with yeah. the jeans and that's shit. When, that's when Jay Z denounced throwback. Yeah, yeah, that era. You know what I'm saying? Steve Madden's <laughs> niggas was wearing oh, Steve talk, Madden's talk, shit. Talk, but I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. But that era, like young niggas, don't understand that. Like back then, like I remember when I was freshly when I was in the in the club when I wasn't supposed to be in the club. 20, 21, 22. It was a dress code. Like niggas would embarrass you outside the club if you wasn't in your dress yeah. code. So, girl. What's the on my on my soul? You yeah. don't remember that, Bailey? I do. I do for sure. Dress code. I guess I'm. You would go to the more. bar. You would I go. You would go to the bar like, if you was trying to be on some downtown shit. Yeah. As a twenty year old, you would oh, go yeah, to the club. dress up clothes. You yes. would get there and then be like, High no heels. jeans. We ain't doing jeans tonight. I'm yes. like, and you would just be outside. Like, as a female, it was like girl. you had to have high heels on. It's just like <laughs> what I'm. You know, sneaker kid. Like you know what I'm saying? No and gym shoes. Like, no gym shoes for no. That's why niggas was for wearing nobody. Men, but but like, girls having to wear heels and stuff. Yes, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they don't. They don't like. Yeah, they don't understand that we was wearing Steve Madden's because like you, they weren't letting no gym shoes in the club. For yeah, real. that's low key. You know, kind of sketchy. You already know what they're going for. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah, they didn't want niggas in the club. They were trying to figure <laughs> yeah, out how to not so get bad. niggas in the club so they ain't got to play hip hop. Every time I <laughs> look at happening. the dress code, even nowadays, like when we do all this traveling, when it says no baggy jeans, yeah. no do rags, no hats, yeah. and I'm like, who are you talking yeah. to? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, the kids don't understand. We all know what y'all talking to. Like the, the kids don't understand. Like niggas, like th these niggas at these bars would try to embarrass you in front of your bitches if you wasn't in dress code for real. Yeah, and kick yeah, you and tell you couldn't. You can't yeah. come here. I, I ain't doing shorts today, G. Ain't no yeah. shorts. What? Ain't no, it's ninety degrees outside. Yeah, yeah. And like you would just be, like, I can't get in the club. They ain't let me in for real. Yeah, you your girls in there be like the girls. Can go. What are they not? The on girls that type of time now. I don't think they do that no more. But I think that they are though. If you went downtown, so. yeah. I think you yes, still sir. have to. Girls yeah, still have to wear like a club. heel. I feel like it was on some streetwear shit now. I feel like you go to club. I feel like you go to club. I still feel like you can't wear sweatpants or some. No, you can't wear no sweatpants. But you can't go with Jordans on. I remember you couldn't go if you didn't have dress shoes. On. Yeah, Fair no, it's definitely it's definitely loosened up, but they still have little rules like mm -hmm. you can't be wearing a, a white t shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, and that's like always that. blown my mind. Like yeah. God, I mean, a, lot damn, of them, a white t shirt wear a isn't even. No, they were like no hats, no yeah. hats yeah. at all. And you guys have what? great hats on, <laughs> and they're both facing forward. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's but they would still be. Yeah, yeah, they'd be like hats forward, hats forward, gentlemen. His shit cocked right now. I'm fucking dead. So does Jamal. I think Jimmy has his forward too. 
See, we're respectful adults, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But they would still make y'all lo- like time. take your yeah, hat off, crib, which is a real, real thing yeah. at hand. Yeah. They would still make you take your hat really? off as if that's such an offensive gesture. Really? A man wearing a hat straight forward, <laughs> <laughs> like just no hats. They ain't want niggas in the club. They ain't want to exactly. play hip hop. Yeah. They ain't want to play no hip hop in the club for yeah. real. Yeah. Hats weren't as accepted back then either. I mm-hmm. I guess not. Like what? Tattoos, hats were. Oh. Hats Everybody was wears sick. hats now, and it's okay. Like, I now? Feel like, I, feel like people, I feel like most people. Hats just not cracking? Unless you worked in like a restaurant or whatever, yeah. you weren't supposed to wear a hat at work. You know oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now everybody yeah. wears hats at work. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Yeah, fair I enough. definitely worked at a. I worked at a Buffalo Wild. Wings. Remember when they told we were you, allowed you to if wear you have tattoos, you'll never get a job. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not a thing. Yeah. You know, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Inked, baby. Tattooed and employed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> glad. Add to the side. <laughs> Face tattoo and all. Yeah. Uh, come see about me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Shit, man. That was a nice little episode. We get For real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really just want to yeah. shout out the Ratberry um, um, uh, situation that's happening on the first. Uh, shout out Roy Kinsey because I promise you that man stay working like oh my gosh it's one thing after another and really just like doing the good people's work and I also really want to shout out and I apologize that we haven't popped up yet but Drip Collective y'all stay doing some shit and it's really something to acknowledge like such a beautiful thing like keeping the consistency you know what I'm saying people try to highlight us with the consistency but it's so great and beautiful to see your friends with that same kind of consistency and that same drive so oh, yeah, yeah. I just want to highlight them for real so shout out to y'all hell yeah